Hello everyone, this is Brooke and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I have another haul video for you as I promised in my last video which was a Sephora haul. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. But this is my Nordstrom's haul and it's all about makeup that I've been picking up in two trips to, to Nordstrom's recently. And I want to show you what I got. Um, the two trips that I made to Chicago, because we don't have Nordstrom's here in Milwaukee yet, we'll get one next year, and you'll be sure that I'll be doing this a lot more often then. Um, but I got a lot of makeup from those pro places, I'm trying to up my high-end collection of makeup a little bit, so that was the perfect place to pick up a few things. And so I'll just get ready to start and show you what I got. Um, the first thing I picked up were the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. And I've heard so much about these recently that I decided to pick up a couple colors. And I mentioned in my Sephora haul that I recently moved out of the world of MAC lipstick, being exclusive with MAC for lipsticks. And this was the purchase that started it all. I got these two NARS lipsticks, and I was so excited. And I felt like, you know, I had just bought, um, I just made a big, a big, not big discovery, but a, just a big milestone in my makeup collecting career. But anyway, these are very nice packaging. It's kind of like a metallic, uh, it's not your your typical NARS rubberized package feeling. It's more of a metallic or hard plastic. But anyway, it's uh, magnetized, so they snap shut. And the color I got was Janet. And it is a kind of like a light berry fuchsia color. It's very, very pretty. And I did wear these around in the store and put them on that day and they lasted so long. They go on and are so pigmented, so creamy. They have a matte finish, but you don't feel matte. It's very nourishing and, and hydrating. I just, I just can't say enough about these lipsticks and I'm very excited I got them. And the other color I got is called Fanny and it looks like this. It's a deeper color, and I just want to point out too that it says NARS on the bullet, and it is a, a deeper plum color, and it looks like it's this one right here. Very, very pretty. I thought it would be extremely nice for fall. Both of them would be great for fall, and with my pink wardrobe, I think it would go very well. Then I went over to the... YSL or the Yves Saint Laurent counter because I'm trying to get a lot more of the high-end quads or quints and I got this one it is it, the packaging looks like that and it's a couture palette and it is the five color ready to wear and it is in the color seven and it looks like this when you open it up obviously there's going to be a lot of fingerprint action happening on there it's got a nice size mirror and then it's got these colors. And I went with the purple or the mauvey pink colors because I think they would be super pretty for, you know, just different day looks. And um, when I swatched the colors, they were extremely smooth. I love the, uh, the texture that they have and the amount of shimmer that they have. Um, so I, I got this one for some day looks and it's, it's year round I think too. You know, I'll be able to get away with the color in the middle using that predominantly for Fall looks but then you know the outer the pink on the outer edge will be great for spring and summer so that was the first palette I got I've also been foundation happy too particularly high-end foundation and the first one I got was by Giorgio Armani because I heard so much about it and the friend I went to Chicago with swears by this foundation it's called the luminous silk foundation it's a big hit here on YouTube and a lot of people have heard of it the color I get is number 10, and it looks like this. I uh, wore, I had them apply this to me in the store, and I wore it all day, and it, it was very nice. It's a lightweight coverage, and uh, it's buildable, but it's for days when I don't feel like having a whole lot of coverage on, and I don't feel like being super matte. It's got a luminous, as the name says, luminous uh, finish to it, so it's kind of on the dewier side but not extremely dewy. I didn't feel like I looked greasy or anything like that. So really love this and I'm excited to play around with that a little more. Nice beautiful glass bottle with a pump. So excited about that one. 
And then also from Giorgio Armani, I got the Eyes to Kill palette, and it is in the number two. And this one is really nice. Looks like this, plain on the outside, but it's got the logo where you open it. And the palette looks like, it's got a full-size mirror there, and the palette looks like this. Some beautiful colors that I thought would be great for fall, again, for daytime looks. Um, it's got this gorgeous, plummy, mauve transition shade color here. And then I loved this one right here. It's a nice shimmery, but not too shimmery color that will be great for an all-over lid color and just kind of like brighten up the look. So I, I got this one. It was the one out of all of them that, that called to me the most. So I'm really excited about that. That's the Eyes to Kill palette by Giorgio Armani. Then I went over to Chanel, and what happened was uh, we went to, my friend and I went to Nordstrom's one weekend, and then we saw advertisements for a uh, beauty event that they were going to be having. Uh, it was actually this past weekend. And I went to that with another, the two two girlfriends this time, and I vlogged about it. So if you see me putting up a vlog re in the near future, that's what it's from. I've never vlogged before, but I did get a lot of footage, so I'm hoping I can figure it out. But anyway, I went, I made an appointment for a makeover with Chanel, and I got uh, a couple of things from them. The first thing I got was the uh, Lays Four Ombre palette. It is in the color 226 to say Rivoli looks like that in the box and then inside it's gorgeous it um, also comes in a velvet pouch with the logo on the top there and then when you take it out of the pouch it looks like that really really pretty and classic Chanel and um, this is what the palette looks like it's got a mirror and then it's got these four colors again we're looking at the plummy mauve pinky nude colors because I think they would be great um, for day looks but even this outer color right here if I did my whole lid with that and really smoked it out it would be great for the evening as well so I'm really excited about that uh, the most, po the most uh, fun color the color that really sold me was this one down here in the corner it's like a metallic bronze or brown it's a metallic brown and when I swatched it it really blended into my skin color so I thought that was really pretty for days when I wanted to just to have a natural look just kind of like an all-over color and then a nice eyeliner I thought that would be really nice so got that and then also from Chanel again foundation I got the perfection Lumiere and my color is number 94 ombre and it looks like this And it's got the logo on the top. It's a nice glass bottle, and it's got a pump inside. I um, have not, well, I tried it on in the store, and it, it worked very well. It's between a matte and a dewy, um, so it's more of a velvety coverage or your skin but better. I, I like to think of it more of a, a naked or a natural kind of coverage. Um, but it's a, a little bit more lighter, um, but it's heavier coverage, I think, than the Giorgio Armani. So... I got this, which is more medium, this, which is lighter, and then you'll see what I got for the full coverage. But I thought this was very nice, and I'm glad I'm excited to give this a try and add it to my collection, because for some reason I'm just stuck on foundations. Um, then the next counter I went to that day for the event, and it was so much fun. If you have a Nordstrom's in your area, and they're doing a beauty, I think they do them for fall and spring, it's called the Beauty and Fashion Trends show um they start off with the fashion show they sh they bring up people makeup artists from all over to talk about their their products and their upcoming trends it's really really nice and i had a great time like i said look for for a vlog coming out on that if i can figure out how to work my footage but anyway i got to estee lauder and they gave me another makeover and i was really looking for an eyeshadow qu uh, quad i think this is no this is a quint and because it's got five colors and I got the uh, number one and it is uh, Defiant Nude is what it's called so number one is called Defiant Nude and this is what the packaging looks like it's this dark blue um, case with Estee Lauder written on the bottom there and it's got gold on the edges very very sleek and pretty and it looks like this inside 
and it's my my nude natural colors my browns and my tans and I thought this would be really pretty for days when I am looking for just a nude look or you know I can use this as a deep transition shade or outer corner color and it's got this really pretty gold down there that I thought would be pretty to brighten up the inner corner so it's it's just something I thought I wanted to give a try and add to my my higher end little quads and quint collection and so I got that the other thing from Estee Lauder I got was a foundation and this has also been talked about on YouTube a lot it is the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place makeup foundation and this is what it looks like and sadly it does not have a pump but the pump from MAC like if you went to the MAC counter and they sell pumps for their foundation it does fit in here but when you put that on you cannot put this glass or this top back on it you just have it looking like uh, an exposed pump I bought the pump I tried that I couldn't stand the way it looked so I went pump free <laughs> And I'm going to just do it like this and pour a little bit out for, for applying. But anyway, I had a sample of this, and I've been using it all week. Love, love, love this foundation. It is full coverage. It is very smooth. It lasts all day. I put it on in the morning, early in the morning before work, and I swear it's still full in place at 11 p.m. when I take my makeup off. It does not transfer. I forgot to set it with a powder one day. It did not matter. It had a perfect finish and it did not transfer, did not budge, anything like that. And it, it, you don't need a primer, they say, but sometimes I still use a primer. This is the bomb. This is, if you're looking for a full coverage foundation, they have a humongous shade range. So there's a color for everybody, but it is just perfect. Um, I can't say enough about it. The only thing, I mean, the only thing I can say is that you want to avoid putting on too much because it will stay there and it might look cakey, um, but you just, a little bit goes a long way and this stuff is amazing. So this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. And the other con to this is no pump. So Estee Lauder, if you're looking, you might want to try to get a pump for this. That would be a big, big plus and we would really love it. And since I bought things from Estee Lauder that day, they also gave me a free little makeup bag here. It's kind of like a, a blue velvet reptile print makeup bag. It's very soft and luxurious. And it's got the gold keep zipper pull with the Estee Lauder logo on there. And inside were samples. And I'll just show you those quickly. Um, there's a Estee Lauder mascara, which I'm extremely excited to try because I think they have really good mascaras. They have the Estee Lauder Advanced Night, pa Night Repair Eye Cream or Eye Serum and this is going to be another big hit because I was really tempted to buy their Night Repair Serum but the price tag on that was a little high and I thought I would just give this guy a try first. So this is for your eyes and I, I guess it's supposed to work miracles. And then I also got a little uh, lip gloss in this case right here. It looks like this. There's a big gouge in it because I opened it up once and got my fingernail stuck inside so that was not fun but it's a really nice little compact for a lip gloss. And then I think there's just some perfume samples in here which I'm probably going to give away. So that is my Nordstrom haul. I hope you enjoyed. I will be back soon with an Ulta haul. And if you haven't seen my Sephora haul, like I said, I will link that below. And if you have any questions about any of these products, feel free to ask. But I do plan on giving out some more reviews. I know I always say that and I never get around to it. Partly because I'm afraid of doing reviews because I'm not an expert and I don't really know what to say about things. But I'm just going to come on and do my honest opinions about about products and I think that will be helpful because I never want to steer you wrong and I I think an honest opinion is better than no opinion and I think I'm going to start doing that little quick videos telling you what some of these foundations are like and and they'll also you know if they're really good they'll end up in my favorites videos so you'll you'll see these again sometimes until I am back again with another video have a great week and I will see you soon bye bye <laughs>